Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to the house. I'm a total mess today, but for a good reason. I've been working, I've been building this stupid cabinet. You know, I had some white cabinets here against the wall that, well, first let me show you my pantry. Here's the deal. Okay. You get the idea, you can't hold too much stuff in there. So then, I had bookcases. So I thought I would put these ones up that the doors close anyways. It's by Solder. They're 115 bucks on Amazon, free shipping. Model 419, 496, 115 bucks. And they're cheap, you know. I mean, you can, you can flex the door, but you know what? They hold a lot. So like, it all depends what you're after. Let's see here. I mean, I'm not gonna here. I here take the stuff off the other shelf to make room to put it in. These things hold a lot and they're not sagging. The white shelves, the shelves are so long that they sag. These ones are shorter because they're divided in the center. So. They're really not going to sag too much, I don't think. I got them loaded down pretty good. So that's what I've been doing. I got one built, two of them out of here, one downstairs, one in the garage. I got two more to take down and move, and three more to build, so it takes a long time, to be honest. I mean, they go together pretty good, but there's just a million pieces as those things, you know, they're always a pain in the butt, that kind of stuff to put together, but, you know, for what it is, for a hundred bucks, I guess, what do you expect, right? Like, I would probably give it three and a half or four stars. People, you know, you know, it's, yeah, it's not going to be a four or $500 cabinet, so. I understand that. You gotta know that when you're going in it, that's uh, it's going to be a hundred dollar cabinet, you know. So you've got to rate it not against something that's more expensive, but you gotta rate it for its price class. So I think for its price class, it's pretty fair value. Here's our day today. Not too shabby. It's uh, it's like 47, 48 degrees. I'm happy to say we've got. The majority of the dock in, I got the boat lift in, I got the jet ski lift in. We're just saving the paddle boat because it's still nice to go out some. I still got the kayaks, you can't see it through the trees, but kayaks are still in. So You can see across the way there's some uh, colors coming finally. Not a lot. So here's the jungle, here's my pineapple farm. So far, the pineapples seem to be doing pretty good. Yes, it's it's a bit overgrown. <laughs> but yeah, the pineapples are they're doing pretty good. I got four of them now, I think. Here's some more of the jungle. I brought some of my outdoor plants in to just get a little bit more time with them, trying to keep my hibiscus going. Seems like it's going to do all right. So that's it, that's what I'm doing so far for my Friday. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks as always for tuning in. I like keeping you posted what's going on. Until next time, we'll see us.